Hello, everybody, and welcome to Comic Time. I'm Amber Red Panda, and this is Norton, fully dressed and all that. And today, we have comic books. Um, before I get into the books, <clears throat> I will say if you watched the other video that I made a couple days ago, I talked about how I still hadn't told my shop that I was moving and all of that. And update, I told them, and it was sad for everyone. One of the first questions, of course, yes. What are you doing with all of your comic books? I'm just like, they're going into storage at my parents' house because I can't fit them into the place that I'm moving at the moment. So they're going to stay there until I have a place that's big enough, and then I will come back for them. Um, but we're working out um, what's going to happen with my sub box and everything that's there. I think I'm going to get like all the stuff that they special order for me, which is a lot. Um, I'm going to keep getting that from them. I'm just picking it up whenever I come home or they'll mail it to me or something. So mainly, um, I guess weekly pulls will just be Marvel and DC stuff. And then um, I'm not sure how it's going to affect the show or anything, but we'll figure it out. So for now, this is the last full week um, of a lot of books. So yeah. So to get into all that, we have My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, number 22, which I'm excited about, and I'm excited that I get to have all my friends play the My Little Pony card game with me this weekend because they're coming over before I leave, so I'm excited for that as well. Um, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number 37. We have Coffin Hill, number 10. <clears throat> I'm a couple issues behind on Coffin Hill, but... I really like the series that I've read so far. We have Ghosted number 12. I feel like this should not be on number 12. That kind of freaks me out. But I like I liked the first arc of Ghosted better than this one, but I still really do like this one. Um, the last issue that I read had some stuff that I didn't necessarily like, so we'll see. I think I'm one issue behind on this, so we'll see if it if it like rectifies itself in the issues that I haven't read, but. I like Ghosted for the most part. We have Abe Sapien number 15. So that's exciting. We have we have the final. We have X number 16. It's the last issue in the Better Off Dead arc. And I really liked that arc. I'm hoping that it ends in a way that sort of reunites everybody, because right now like all the main characters from like the first arc are sort of all separated. Um, and I hope that it sort of reunites everybody and puts everyone back on the same page. But we'll see. Um, God is Dead stuff, we have God is Dead, Books of Book of Acts Omega. So that's good. Um, and then we have God is Dead, number 18, just the regular series. So we'll see how that goes. I still haven't read the God is Dead Alpha, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we have Unity number 10, which I still don't have Unity number 8. Somehow my shop didn't get it to me. So I still need to read 9 and 10 because I'm waiting on 8. So hopefully it'll be... Okay, it'll be here probably next week, but now I don't know when I'm going to get it. So we'll see whenever I get to catch up on Unity. Um, we have Wolverine number 11. He now has one month to die. And I want to say that the series is ending, I believe, with number 12. So this is the next to last issue. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this issues or this ends on issue number twelve. We have X Force number eight, which I'm really liking the X Force arc right now too. <clears throat> Original Sin stuff we have a bunch. We have this much stuff. So we have the Original Sin number seven, just the regular, the regular title. Which, it also, I need to go back to my shop because I didn't get to go in on Wednesday, and so I believe they had another one of those, like, special edition, like, eyeball, bouncy ball things, only these ones were red instead of, like, the other ones were sort of just, like, a green. They might glow in the dark, they look like they could. I don't, I know I tested this, but I don't remember what my conclusions were. Um, we have Fantastic Four, number eight. I really like that series as well. And I've liked what they've done with the original sum with it. We have Amazing Spider-Man number five. It's weird seeing Amazing Spider-Man in one of these events. So I'm excited to see what happens with it. The last issue is pretty good. And then we have Deadpool number 33. This is the regular like original sin cover. And then I got this variant 
cover as well. So that's it. And then we have an other Deadpool stuff. We have Dracula's Gauntlet number six is out. So that's all the Deadpool stuff, and that's all the original Sin stuff. Okay, so Harley Quinn, number nine. That's going on. Um, the United States of Murder, Inc., number four, which I really, I didn't expect to like this title, um, especially once I figured out that it was like, it's a Marvel title, but it's not really advertised by Marvel. Um, the artwork is a little strange, but I really do like it. There's a lot of stuff that's going on in it, and it's interesting to see, like, just the different aspects. Sort of like you think you have to figure it out, and then it sort of changed just, like, one little thing, and it switches the perspectives and all that. We have Rise of the Magi, number three, which I always, since there was a zero issue, I always think, like, this, to me, should be number four because I've read three issues already, but no, it's not how it works. We have Batman, number 34, which I have not read this yet, obviously, but I've heard there are a lot of Easter eggs in it, so I'm excited to read it, see if I know what all the things are and all of that. So it's going to be good. We'll see if I end up sticking with this um, Batman arc. I hope I do, and I probably will, just because that's just how I am, but we'll see. <clears throat> We have the weekly series Batman Eternal number 19. So I'm, I'm still pretty caught up on those, so that's good. I was really behind for a while on Batman Eternal, but I managed to catch up, and that's all that's it's always good, especially now I have a ton of comics that I'm trying to get through before I move, and little by little I'm getting through some. I'm hoping to fill up a last long box before I end up moving, so I have a lot to do. We have Constantine number 17. I really like this this cover. I don't know why. I just the, I look at it and I see a face and then I, I just see so many different things in the cover that I just like looking at it. We have Injustice, Gods Among Us, Year 2, number 9. It is it says war. Like there's a war that's going on in this comic. So I'm excited to read it. I, I still like the first one, the first, like, year one better, but year two hasn't been total disappointment. We have Justice League Canada, also known as Justice League United, depending. I think the first issue that came out, I got the Justice League United covers, but ever since then I've gotten, like, the Justice League Canada ones. So, there it is. A lot of people don't like it. Some do. I... I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So that's about the only opinion I can really give. I don't, I don't hate it, but I, I liked um, the previous title better, if that makes any sense. We have the New Fifty Two Futures End number twelve or number fifteen. So it, I feel like this shouldn't be on fifteen issues, um, but it is, and it looks like it's not going to be a super long read. So. I'm excited to read it. I like I like Future's End better than Batman Eternal. It's weird to say, but I do. We have the all-new Suicide Squad number two, which I got the first one. I, I liked it a lot. I didn't read um, Suicide Squad, the original series, from the beginning. I believe I have the first trade, and I think I've read the first trade's worth. But I didn't read the entire series, so I can't really compare the two. But I do like what I read in issue number one. If that counts for anything. We have Superman Wonder Woman number 11. It is part of the Superman Doomed thing that I'm not part of. Um, I read the last Superman Wonder Woman like Doomed tie-in thing. And I really liked that issue. I thought it was a better issue than like most of the other Superman Wonder Woman things. So I'm hoping that this one lives up to the last one that I read. And then maybe after Doomed is over... Um, It'll, it'll continue to be good, because it was sort of, I was hearing, I'm like, I don't really want to read this anymore, but I don't want to drop it either, just because I don't like to drop titles. So hopefully maybe it, it gets more interesting, and I want to keep reading it. We have All New X-Men, number 30. I feel like this should not be on issue number 30, it's, it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> but I like the art that's going on in it, um, there's a lot of stuff, stuff happens. So I think this is probably like my third favorite X-Men title that's out right now. But it changes. It changes weekly. So 
And a lot of X-Men and a lot of Avenger stuff came out this week. We also have Amazing X-Men. This is number 10. It's decent, but if it went away... I think I really, really liked it in the beginning, and now I'm just kind of like, there's so many X-Men titles. Like, if it went away, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We have Avengers World number 11. I like the cover on this one because, I don't know, Thor. I like Thor on it. And just all, I just, I like all of the heroes on the cover. But I'm excited. I really like, I really like this title. I like Nick Spencer. So anything that he re writes pretty much, I really like. This one almost made it into my top three, but it just didn't quite make it. Inhuman number three. I really liked Inhuman number one and number two. I think this is going to be a really good series. I'm excited to read it and, and learn more about it and all of that. So I'm excited to read this, and it'll probably be one of the first ones that I read. Even though it didn't make it in my top three, it'll be it'll be in my, in my hands reading very soon. We have a Nova special. I'm not really sure... I wouldn't call it an annual because I mean they call it a special, but I guess it could be sort of, sort of a thing. So yes, Nova special. Spider-Man 2099 number two. I feel like the first one came out so long ago. I'm gonna have to reread it because I don't completely remember exactly what happened in it. But number two was out, and it should be. It looks decent. I like. I like Spider-Man 2099. I like that he sort of made a comeback in the the mainstream comics. He's not just in the in the background anymore. So we'll see if he stays that way. With all the Spider-Verse and bringing back everybody, it's bound to happen. So I'm excited to see him and see what he does. We have Punisher versus the Thunderbolts. This is part three in the series, and it's also just part of Thunderbolts. It's issue number 29. Um, I really like Thunderbolts a lot. I was I kind of wish though that the Thunderbolts had a original Sin tie-in because I think that it would have been really good. I remember during Infinity the Thunderbolts tie-ins were my favorite because they were just so random. Like everyone else is battling everything and they're just driving around looking for Deadpool who's looking for pizza in New York. Like I lo I don't know I loved it. Everyone else hated it, but I thought it gave a nice little little relief from all the stress of the rest of Infinity. So I wish that Original Sin had had a Thunderbolts tie-in, but you can't have everything, I guess. We have Avengers Undercover number 8. Sometimes I think people call it Undercover Avengers. I'm not sure what the actual correct title is because I just get it, but here it is in all of its Avengers-ness. So I like it. You have Mystique on the cover, so it's it's going to be a fun time. <clears throat> then we have X-Men number 18. This is also one of my favorite X-Men titles. I want to say this might be like my second favorite X-Men title. It's, it really does change on the arc, though. I think this arc, I'm liking this arc a lot. Um, some arcs haven't been as strong, but I like it. I, I like reading about Jubilee, so <laughs> I, I like reading. And then we have the top three. I put Nightcrawler number five in the top three because instead of Inhuman number three because I don't know like it, there's more issues of it out and I don't know like I love Nightcrawler like everything that he he's in I'm reading and I'm really liking all of it he sort of makes the books in the books that he appears in right now for me so couldn't just not put him put him in my top three so I'm excited to read that for sure we have Sex Criminal number seven. I like this title a lot. Um, that's all I can really say about it. It's different. The second arc is a little different than the first. It's still good, but it's not. It's sort of like I don't know. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna talk about it because I'm gonna end up going on some random tangent that has nothing to do with comic books, and I'm not going there. Okay, and then we have The Walking Dead number 130. I'm excited to read this one. The last one sort of ended on this random thing with Negan in a prison and it was crazy so I'm excited to read this I'm hoping I don't know I feel like I know what's going to happen but I thought I knew what was going to happen in All Out War as well and I was I was a little wrong not completely wrong but just sort of so we'll see what happens um that's that's pretty much all I got I don't have any baked stuff because I packed everything away and I can't bake anything right now so um 
next week I will be in New York um, for my video. So I guess that will be my regularly scheduled place of making videos. Um, I might make a couple more videos about other things before I leave, you know, this apartment. So you may still see me in Norton around um, before we move, and then afterwards we'll be we'll be in New York. It'll sort of be like the one comic time that I did from New York. Um, Whenever I was on like vacation there, it might be like that, but different because I'll have other things figured out by then. I don't know. We're gonna see, but there will be a video next week. Um, there won't be as many comics, but there will be some, and things are gonna happen. So I will see you guys next week. I have to go pack and stuff. So bye.